After a nice weekend, you are once again stuck in the middle with Jeff and I. Later in the show, we will talk to Vicki from Tri-County Council and talk about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Plus, we have a COVID expert on the show to answer all of our questions. We'll get to all of that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Today, the DNR announced a November wolf hunt quota of 130. The Natural Resources Board, which is different than the DNR, had voted to move that number up to 300, but the DNR has the final say, so 130 it is. The working number, though, will be 74 wolves, since Ojibwe members are entitled to the rest of the hunt and do not hunt wolves. 370 license, licenses will be issued in total. The season could still be impacted by a federal legal challenge from the state's six Ojibwe tribes. With Representative Ron Kine declining to seek re-election, a new Democrat has announced his candidacy. State Senator Brad Paff will attempt to keep the third congressional district of Wisconsin blue after 2022. Ron Kind has held the seat for over two decades, but it's been trending red lately. Republican Derek Van Orden, you can see him now, has ran and lost the past two cycles. He is again seeking the seat. Facebook has been down since this morning, and it's just a day after a whistleblower said the social media site has consistently chosen profit over safety and has tried to hide evidence of it. Francis Haugen leaked thousands of internal Facebook documents to the Wall Street Journal and revealed herself on 60 Minutes last night. Haugen alleges Facebook knows that there is misinformation and angry content on the platform, but won't change the algorithm to be safer because then people will spend less time on the site, click fewer ads, and Facebook will make less money. Haugen will be testifying before the Senate tomorrow. If you're looking for a new way to help your community but don't know where to start, the Northwoods Volunteer Fair would be a good first step for you. It's tomorrow from 10 to 2 at Triggs, Riverwalk, and Rhinelander. 20 agencies like Northwoods United Way, AmeriCorps, and the YMCA will have tables, and they can all talk to you on how you can help. Get connected with Rhinelander nonprofit organizations and learn how you can make a difference through volunteering. Newswatch 12 Volunteer of the Year and Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins now. Jeff, kind of a great day out there today. Yeah, hey Dan, happy Monday. Well, lots of clouds out there early today and they just stuck with us pretty much all day long with temperatures hanging out in the 60s, but there are a couple low 70s across central Wisconsin right now and that is a sign of what's to come. Currently in Rhinelander, though, it's 64, cloudy skies, a northeast breeze around 5, and a dew point there at 57, kind of muggy air in place right now. But look at you, Wausau, you're at 70, okay, you win. Cloudy skies, though, for you as well, and the pressure is rising as high pressure is building in. That will eventually get the clouds out of here tonight and give us lots of sunshine tomorrow. Uh, temperatures are pretty uniform across the entire northern part of the state right now. Uh, it'll be slow to drop off tonight, too, because of all the clouds in place currently. But look what happened. So this is not a map you normally see in October, but here we are, uh, 70s this week, and literally the whole week uh, into the weekend uh, with some cooler air coming in here probably Sunday and Monday, but we got to get there first. Until then, we have a long stretch of 70s to get through. So if you're feeling a bit warm, I checked on Lake Superior water temperatures today, and you can go jump in there if you want to. They're around 60, but... This is surface temperatures, just below the surface. Temperatures are in the 40s. That's refreshing, right? Okay, so out here now, there's a very clear defined edge of the clouds right over there. You see it across parts of western Wisconsin, and it's really slowly like turtle's pace moving in this direction. So by tomorrow morning, we'll get rid of the cloud cover, bring back some sunshine tomorrow with temperatures up near 70 through the afternoon as this high pressure right there really wants to build in. It will do so tomorrow and give us some very nice uh, weather. Now, not just tomorrow, but for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before that system right there gets in here on Friday and brings us some rain showers for the weekend. So our forecast then tonight, though, is decreasing clouds late, low temperatures down near 47. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. When you shop Goodwill for amazing deals on back-to-school items, you make an impact. Your support keeps items out of the landfill and fuels job training and opportunities for people with barriers to employment. When you shop and donate back-to-school at Goodwill, Goodwill starts with you. There's more to a yard than freshly cut grass. 
there's real life. Full of twists and turns. Which is exactly why we built these mowers. To clear the way for stuff like this right here. Run with us because the best yards are planted with real memories. Nothing runs like a deer. Stop by Lakeland Lawn and Equipment in Arborvita for special offers taking place for a limited time. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. It's Champion Septic's Customer Appreciation Giveaway. Have your septic or holding tank pumped between now and November 12th to be entered to win one of five big prizes. Drawing November 14th at Cabaret Cove in Rhinelander. Champion Septic, your septic system specialists. The new LDF Country Market in Lac de Flambeau offers families the freshest meats, produce, bakery, and groceries. Take a closer look and you'll find a smoke shop, beer cave, deli, and liquor all under one roof with convenient fueling stations just outside. Add Native American arts and crafts and you'll enjoy a unique, spacious shopping experience found nowhere else. Shop the new LDF Country Market today. Get what you need so you can get back to what you enjoy. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argonne Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argonne Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argonne Lumber, two locations in Argonne and Rhinelander. When you shop Goodwill for amazing deals on back-to-school items, you make an impact. Your support keeps items out of the landfill and fuels job turning and opportunities for people with barriers to employment. When you shop and donate back-to-school at Goodwill, Goodwill starts with you. We're back on Up North at 4 and we welcome Vicki and Timberly from Tri-County Council here in Rhinelander, right? Yes. yes. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So I was walking downtown Rhinelander today and I, I saw this purple ribbon on the street. We have some here as well. Tell us a little bit about what October means to Tri-County. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and purple is the color that represents the struggle and the trials that the victims of domestic violence go through. And we want to paint the town purple, Rhinelander and Forest County and Vilas County, the counties that we serve, and we would like to raise awareness for domestic violence. And Timberly, how does Tri-County contribute to that cause? Well, we provide victims with support, resources, and assistance um, to get through their, their struggles and their, you know, the abuse. Mm -hmm. We do have an emergency shelter if, you know, that's what they need. Um, but then we also have a lot of community resources for people who might not need shelter but need accompaniment to legal services or just resources. So I put together just a little thing, um, a couple events you'll be having. So there's four events planned for October and the first one is a candlelight vigil for Hannah Miller, is that right? Can you tell us about that? That is correct. That will be Friday, October 8th at 6.30 at the Green Space. There is also a benefit at Rhinelander Brewing Company that evening downtown Rhinelander that does start at 6 o'clock. So we're kind of hoping that people will maybe go visit the Rhinelander Brewing Company, support that fundraiser, come to the candlelight vigil, or afterwards then the, the benefit will still be going on. So after the vigil to, to go support that cause there and too. And October 16th is a shoe walk. What is that? It's not a shoe walk. We're going to have a shoe display. So okay. what we're going to be doing is we're going to be asking for donations of shoes and each pair of shoes will represent a life lost to domestic violence in the year 2020 in the state of Wisconsin alone. And that number was 68 for 2020. Wow. So there'll be two other events. Just tell us about the final two. We have the uh, the chalk walk will be on the 23rd of October and then on the 29th of October we always do a candlelight vigil every October every year our coalition and and abuse they put out this homicide report and so every year we have a candlelight vigil and we read the names of the victims that lost their lives and I feel like Domestic violence has been elevated lately, especially here across North Central Wisconsin. The Hannah Miller story, of course, brought that to light. What has been the reaction from the public um, as to what you do? We, we really get a lot of great support from our community. And I'm really hoping that this October, that, you know, we, we, we do this every October. This is normal for us for October. This October, 
it's a little bit more because of Hannah Miller. And I would love to see something really positive come from such a tragic event. Why is it so important to reflect upon domestic violence? You know, for years and years and years, that, that is a subject that is either not talked about, it's swept under the rug. I know that um, my generation, we grew up being told by our parents, you don't talk about what happens in the home, it's nobody's business, but we do need to talk about domestic violence. We need to make that a normalized conversation and then hopefully people won't, it won't be such a taboo subject and that people can talk about it and, and it'll be easier to talk about. You know, there's kids, you know there's kids that are living in homes where there's domestic violence happening. Where do those kids go for help? It's, it's a shameful topic, it's a scary topic, and we need to really make it more easy to talk about. For more information on domestic violence and resources, go to Tri-County Council. Here in Rhinelander, they have a Facebook. Yes. We have a website. Facebook page. We have Tri County Council. On DVSA.org. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming on and shedding some light on this very important topic. Thank you so thank much. You. We brought you some bows, and we would really like to see the community paint the town purple. Okay. Thank you. We'll be thank right back you. after the break. Welcome to today's Elite Money Minute with the Elite Advisor Team. Hey, did you guys catch any of the Western Marathon this last weekend? I just love Clint Eastwood. Hands down, the best gunslinging cowboy the West has ever seen. No way, John Wayne, his aim, morals, and values made him the best cowboy. He's the Duke. I like variety in my Westerns. How about Roy Rogers and Dale Evans? Now that's some true diversification. You know you're right, Patrick, and it's the same with your investments. You need to have true diversity to combat the ups and downs of the market. Just like Roy and Dale were there for each other through the ups and downs of the West. To make sure you don't get bucked off your retirement, call our office at 1-800-469-2040 or visit us on the web at retireidea.com. That's today's Elite Money Minute. For more information on this topic or other retirement ideas and information, visit our website at retireidea.com. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters, that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. For Ed B., who can spot exactly 57 types of trees thanks to his Medicare allowance for new glasses, we've got you. For Jackie R., who's added umpteen flower pots now that her allergy meds are covered, we've got you. For Michelle K., who likes celebrating life's big moments, like finding affordable premiums and, more importantly, finishing chemo, we've got you. For everything that happens to happen, we've got you. Aspirus Health Plan. Welcome back to Up North at 4. Jeff, uh, yeah, I mean, it went way too long. At UW but, Health uh, in Madison, Dr. Pothoff, how are you doing You can handle it. I'm doing pretty well. How are you guys? Doing pretty well. well. Let's start with the news of the day. Virtually all UW Health employees have received the COVID-19 vaccine. What does that mean to UW Health? And just tell us a little bit more about that. You know, we're, we're pretty proud of our employees. You know, they, you know, realize that, you know, this COVID pandemic, this vaccine wasn't just about them. It was about also protecting their community. And of our 16,158 employees, 99.96 have complied with the vaccine mandate. That means if you get care at UW Health, you're relatively assured that those people taking care of you are vaccinated. They're very unlikely to transmit COVID onto you. Yeah, and last week, doctor, um, a major airline announced that they were also 96% compliant in terms of vaccinations, but they also decided that they were going to lay off 600 workers who were not vaccinated. Is termination the remedy for those who choose to not be vaccinated? You know, none of us want to terminate employees. Uh, you know, here at UW Health, uh, thankfully, uh, our number of terminations will likely be under 10. Uh, but, you know, the way that I look at it is, you know, a lot of businesses, they have values and a mission that they're following. 
Uh, and sometimes when employees' values don't line up real well with the main values of that organization, it's sometimes better to part ways. Uh, you know, it's not great for that employee to be at that organization. Uh, they're often frustrated. They don't agree with what we're trying to do. And then likewise, not always great for that organization to have those employees uh, that just can't get behind the, the value and mission of the organization. Dr. Potov, let's take a lot of steps back right here. National trends for COVID-19 cases are trending down. However, in Wisconsin, we're still trending up. Why is that the case? Yeah, there is usual regional variation. Uh, you know, I think when we started to see the increase in COVID cases across the country, Wisconsin was a little bit later to that game. Uh, that likely means that we're going to be a little bit later uh, to the drop off. But you know what I am hopeful uh, is that this Delta surge, even for Wisconsin, hopefully doesn't need to go on a whole lot longer. And last week, Wisconsin passed 8,000 total COVID deaths. Um, the top five vaccinated states had 580 people in the hospital. The top five least vaccinated states had over 6,600. Isn't that a clear message that the vaccine is working? Yeah, I mean, the data behind the vaccines, uh, you know, it, it, it's just absolutely solid at this point. Uh, folks who get vaccinated are at a significantly high rate less likely to be hospitalized. They're less likely to die. Uh, nothing in life is 100 percent, but uh, these vaccines are extraordinarily effective in preventing severe disease death from COVID with a side effect profile that's better than most any other medication or vaccine that we have out there. Mm -hmm. I was reading about how natural immunity from previously having the virus is not as good as having the vaccine. Can you explain that to us? Yeah, you know, this is a good question because I see a lot of people confused about this. They say, hey, I had COVID. Doctors say I get immunity from it. Why are you talking about a vaccine and why do I have to be careful? Uh, and it's true, you do get some immunity from having a COVID infection. Uh, the issue with that, that immunity is twofold. One is durability. How long does that immunity last after you recover from COVID? And it doesn't look like it lasts that long, maybe six months. The other thing is the variant, Delta variant. If you got COVID-19 and it wasn't Delta variant, Delta variant's pretty good at causing reinfection in those folks who have previously had, let's just call it normal COVID. Now, if you vaccinate folks who've had COVID before, their immunity is outstanding. It's even better than folks who've just had the two vaccine series, never had COVID. So uh, if you've had COVID, go out and get that vaccine series. Uh, you know, you're, you're at the top of the class once you do that. Yeah, and I wanna to go to a dark place for a second. Um, Alaska and Idaho last week went to a term called ration care, basically a legal distinction allowing doctors to choose who gets to live and who gets to die, right? Because there's so many COVID cases in their hospitals. This is not happening in Wisconsin, but is there anything like this on the horizon, do you think, for Wisconsin? You know, I sure hope not. Uh, hospitals work so hard to not get to this position. Uh, this is something that in the United States, we don't experience. We've maybe never experienced the idea that, you know, irrespective of what you come down with, whether it be COVID or something else, you might go to a hospital and the hospital may say, you know what? We are so sorry. There's nothing we can do. Your loved one is going to die. Um, you know, people should be outraged that that might happen. And it's not the hospital's fault. Uh, it's because we haven't adequately combated this pandemic. Uh, we've got too many sick people, not enough resources to take care of them. Uh, and it, it really is a worst case scenario. I cannot imagine, uh, you know, a worst case scenario in a country with as many resources as the United States to say, you know what, uh, you have a life threatening, a life ending process, and we just can't fix it right now. Mm. Dr. Pothoff, I'm curious about long term COVID. I know this is a relatively new disease, so we're learning more and more. What's the latest on long term side effects from COVID 19? You know, I wish I had a lot of new news that said, hey, we completely understand long-term COVID. We know how long it lasts, but we don't. Uh, we still see long-term COVID, i.e. symptoms of COVID uh, that can persist for many, many months uh, after the initial infection, whether it's loss of taste and spell, smell, whether it's chronic fatigue, whether it's daily headache. Um, you know, we've seen this with some viruses in the past, not to the extent that COVID-19 does it, and typically not to this duration. Uh, you know, another reason to really not play uh, the game with COVID-19, taking your chances with that infection, because there's just so much we don't know about it. Uh, I can't, you know, inform my patients what their life is going to look like six months from now, 12 months from now, 18 months from now. 
uh, because we just don't know why this seems to happen so much more frequently in COVID patients and why it persists. So I'm just imagining a rebuttal on social media right now to what you just said. And that rebuttal would be, what about the long-term effects of having the vaccine side by side to long-term effects of COVID? How do those two compare? Yeah, you know, this is a fair question because we hear it all the time. How can they possibly know that vaccine is effective for the long term because it's only been out for pick however many months? Uh, and the reason that we're so confident is although the COVID-19 vaccine is a relatively new vaccine, the idea of vaccination and what vaccination does, i.e. stimulate the immune system to do something, is old. It's been out there for 50, 60 years. And here's what we find with vaccines, and it's never varied from this. If you give someone a vaccine, there's one of three things that will happen. One, it'll do nothing. Two, it'll do something that you don't want to see, uh, you know, cause blood clots, cause something else. Or three, it'll have the response you want. It generates an immune response. There's very little adverse effects uh, and it's a great vaccine. But here's the important point. Those adverse events, they don't happen. They've never happened five years later, 10 years later. It doesn't happen. In fact, most adverse events happen in the first 90 days with a small tail. So now that we've had this vaccine out there for months, these people in trials for over a year, that's why we are so certain that the long-term side effects of these vaccines aren't going to be there. It's not something that happens with vaccines. Thank you so much, Dr. Pata, for your time today. A lot of information there. I really appreciate uh, you sharing it with us. You bet. Anytime. Okay, we'll be right back in Up North F4. What happens when an unlikely alliance Ariana could be the greatest coach on The Voice is finally broken. But she could be the worst. I'm leaning. <laughs> the Voice, tonight and tomorrow on NBC. What if you could see all the things your life could be? Makes you wonder, what if? This one's a keeper, Joe. <laughs> want you to have your dream. New Ordinary Joe, tonight on NBC. America has always been the land of opportunity, but not all opportunities turn out the way you hoped. Maybe, like a lot of people, you've been hit by credit card bills, a divorce, or you lost your job. Now the feeling of debt is overwhelming. But this is a country where everyone deserves a second chance. We're the providers of Care One Debt Relief Services, created by Bernie Dansell on this very idea of second chances. Over 20 years ago, he had his own battle with debt, which motivated him to start Care One, the nation's largest brand of debt relief services. He wanted to help good people move forward in their lives with dignity and respect. Call our certified credit counselors for your free personalized plan. We help you consolidate your unsecured debt into one affordable monthly payment. It's not a loan. It's not bankruptcy. It's a fresh start. Yours. Call us today or visit careonetoday.com. Care One. We're in the business of second chances. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. So it's Monday. Ask asked Jeff if you'll send me any pictures, videos, and you actually had one this I time. I had a video this week. Uh, it was a busy weekend for me. I worked yesterday. Uh, but Saturday, I took a long hike in the woods with the dog. And look what happened to us, right? Things I should know. It was just downpouring rain. But it was a warm rain, so we stuck with it. We hiked for several miles, and it was just uh, it's kind of magical. Leaves are all kind of falling around you. Mm -hmm. The mist is in the air. I, that was a great walk. With it's the kind dog. of one of those warm rains, right? Yeah, so it's it was. Not that yeah, bad. It was close to 70, right? Okay, yeah. So I was at Rib Mountain, mm -hmm. so I also did a fall hike. Yeah. Here's some pictures from the top of Rib Mountain. If you haven't been there yet, yeah. you gotta go. You it's gotta one go. of the best views. It's so cool up there. And oh, there you are. Yeah, look at that. Perfect day, right? There's lots of sunshine. Yeah. And the, the colors are peaking right now, of mm -hmm. course, across our area. Uh, not quite across central. Wisconsin yet but getting close and just a magical weekend we haven't had a lot of wind yet to, to take the leaves out of the trees but it's coming uh, most likely this weekend well Jeff I have to bring up something from earlier today because okay. it kind of rattled me okay. here's a picture of you from earlier today oh, to oh. our viewers <laughs> Jeff was eating soup 
out of a can with a fork. Am I the only one who does this? So Campbell's soup, right? Yeah. You just take off the lid and you just eat the you soup out of the... I need a mental break. We're going to take a commercial <laughs> break. Am I the only I'm one? I'm going to take some deep breaths. We'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Am I the okay? only one? <laughs> Nine million acres of forest, 1,700 miles of continuous shoreline, 4,300 lakes, 12,000 miles of streams, more than 300 waterfalls, 15 counties, two time zones, and one area code. Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Welcome to 906 Outdoors. For your connection to the UP, watch 906 Outdoors Saturday mornings at 7.30. How many times have you searched the same thing? What to make for dinner, kid-friendly meals, easy party food. Stop searching and look no further than the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with new recipes every day on Newswatch 12 Today and Newswatch 12 at 6. The Test Kitchen has you covered for every meal, snack, and craving. Now, how many ways can you say, ooh, it's so good? Mr. Food Test Kitchen, brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio and Golden Carrot Jewelers. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin, and August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for Spinal Aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt I was walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. <laughs> okay, I've done my breathing exercise. I didn't even mention that this is condensed soup. You're basically just dr like drinking right. cold salt Not water. heated, just open the lid with a can opener, eat the soup and noodles out of there. I, I can't be the only one that does that. I think you cold might Cold soup, the noodles are fantastic. You gotta get the big can though, not the small one, it's not big enough. And condensed soup. Yeah, so it's just so like it's a little, a little like extra salt. salt. Right, yeah. yeah, okay, well, we're out of time after that important nonsense. Yeah. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't...